Good day to everyone. I'm Matt, Juan Tamad, and welcome to another episode of Farming Made Easy here at Made Farms. I'm trying to farm here. For today's episode, we'll show you how a queen castle works. So we are here at our made workshop for us to show you our queen castle design. So let us go through the parts and look at the details of our queen castle. So here is our queen castle. We have two supers, the upper super and the lower super. And we have a telescopic cover. Let's remove the telescopic cover. And the upper part. And let us look at the parts of the inside of our queen castle. So let us look at the divisions of our queen castle. So we have four compartments. We have one, two, three, and four. Each compartment has a top cover. This one is compartment number one. Compartment number one can handle three frames. So these are standard mediums. The second compartment only has two frames. Third has two frames, so this is an empty compartment, and the fourth has three frames. So the division board of our queen castle can be removed. So if you want to use your queen castle as five framers, so you can remove the division board here and remove the division board there, and you have a five frame, a standard five frame nook here, and another standard five frame nook here. So if you're not using it as a nucleus hive, you can remove the division board in between and use it as a standard 10 frame hive. So you can fit 10 frames here. And you just need to cover the entrance or the holes in it. So let's look at the details of our division boards or division board guide. So we have grooves here using a circular saw. We place grooves here to guide our division boards and hold them in place. Make sure the division boards fit snugly in our hive body to prevent the queens from escaping. So this compartment is isolated from this compartment and this compartment is isolated from the other one. So each compartment has its own specific hole. So this compartment has a hole here, there. So. Compartment number two has a hole here, there. Then compartment number three has a hole here. And then compartment number four has a hole there. So as you can see, all the four queens are isolated. So they, they cannot reach each other. Our queen castles also have different markings on each compartment. So the entrance of this compartment has a horizontal marking. Here, here is a uh, chevron design, here a uh, vertical design, and here another downward chevron design. So we do this to minimize drifting of the queens. So the bees can recognize patterns and colors. So we paint our entrances with different patterns and colors so the bees will have an address where to return. So there you have it, our Queen Castle design at May Farms. Again, thank you for watching our videos. To learn more about how we make farming easy here at Made Farms, subscribe to my YouTube channel Madoda or add us on Facebook Modular Aquaponics. See you in the next videos. I'm trying to farm here.